Okay, you go. Okay. You go again. Ba ba da ba 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 ba. That's our new theme song. <laughs> <laughs>today about are you really a gamer emphasis on really boy is this a topic that a lot of people have contemplated Don't and if you some think off. you haven't you have we even talking about it today didn't realize how narrow our thinking was so it really made us think about things you know what our best way to define what a gamer was was to go straight to a dictionary. So we took two different- On Google. On Google. Not like an old Because paper. nobody has a fucking dictionary. <laughs> Oxford Dictionary describes it as a person who plays video games or participates in role-playing games where Merriam-Webster's dictionary defines it as a person who regularly plays computer or video games. The reason we're doing this is because we really want to broaden i guess the spectrum of what a gamer is and it can't be defined down to a single thing i think there are a lot of different like you said categories of gamers we're going to discuss it and you're going to fall into one of these categories you will or you'll fall into many different categories yeah. and then you can decide too do you agree with what we're saying Probably are not. some of these people gamers are some of them not let's set up an argument here yeah <laughs> let's set up an argument for the PC master race out there, are people that play only on consoles, are they gamers? And vice versa. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's a war Ooh. because <laughs> people who play PC. If you've ever talked to them, we've got one of these friends that uh, PC master race. And I'm like, oh, come on, whatever. <laughs> Yeah. But that's the thing, if you play PC, you say you're not a real gamer unless you play on PC. I think, you know, these are line in the sand categories where you're going to fall on one side or the other, or maybe you would play a little bit of both, but I think it divides people. That line divides yeah. people is what it does. If it's not already obvious, I am a console gamer. Yeah. I don't even have a PC. <laughs> Growing up, I played a few PC games. No, I never. I've never had a PC. I well, I, I to used to go to one of my friends' house, and we used to, used to have a couple Star Wars games oh, that okay. we used to yeah. play on PC, which were a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But I've always been a console guy. I think I've always. played two PC games in my entire life. Sextras. Sextras was one of them. <laughs> I knew you that. And Among Us with Alex once, and I was like, "Am I in the imposter?" He's like, only you know that. Why would I know that? And he was getting annoyed with me. So I just played it that once. That do, was it. Since we're console gamers, do we think PC Master Race are gamers? Well, Some yes, because I do. I do. I, I do, but I'm I'm pissed off that you PC Master Race guys are such dicks. <laughs> yeah, like oh I, I don't think anybody who plays consoles would say, oh, I know people that play PC aren't gamers. Well, you, well no, they're yeah. playing games. Yeah. But I, do, I think it, the reverse reversal the pc people PC don't mess, think yeah, they're, people who play console they're are little, gamers yeah they they think they're a little they're they're on a it's like a double standard a little higher there. up on the standards possibly yeah there. tell us what you think all everybody from your computer tell us how you think scott's wrong <laughs> start hammering that freaking keyboard <laughs> Fuck that fuck on your bastard. PC. <laughs> on your PC. But yeah, I oh. I don't find a distinction between the two. No, I think they're both gamers in their own right. Yeah. I choose to play on console because personally I'm a collector and that's how I grew up. I never had yeah. a PC, so but Alex has had a PC from the Wii ages there. And, yeah. and and I'm sure there are way more factor. benefits and and you can do way more when it comes to PC stuff. That does factor in though because you're a collector because there's no physical media anymore for PC. No. It's all Steam. Yep. Yeah, because you never say, look at my PC collection of games. No, you're like, here's okay, my PC Steam account. <laughs> no, here's, here's yeah. my Steam account. These are the games I have. Yeah. All right, so let's get another war going here. Yeah. So do the people that play online games consider people that don't play online gamers people we know do online game and we're like nah, 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 we don't mm, like to online, don't online game i'm not even set up to play online other than i have wi-fi but i don't have a headset i don't have the keypad for the controller or anything i just don't care but they're yeah. the same games they're the exact so whether same you play games, it's just 
a story or campaign yeah. in, in the comfort of your own home or that you're playing online, you're still playing a game. Yeah. Yes. To me, you're still a gamer. My son is exclusively an online 85% of the time that I watch him play, he is online playing, but it's still Alex. playing a game. Alex is, Alex sure. is 100% online. I think my question is, do the online gamers think that people that don't play online, are they real gamers? Because they're not competitive about it. If you're not online gaming, if you're just like solo in your living room, yeah. single solo, player gaming. I just want to play the campaign. I want to play it for the story. I like that. I don't want to go and play a battle royale game there with yeah. like because the people word, I don't know yeah. or a group of guys. Even the word gamer kind of denotes this idea <clears throat> that there's some sort of competitive aspect to it. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. even sporting and if you're a gamer, like there's a competitive aspect. So does that, you know, does that factor in, I guess. I I think either one's a gamer. Yeah, I, I would say so. And I don't think people who play strictly online kind of say, oh, well, if you don't play online, you're not a gamer. I've never heard that. Yeah, I you haven't I either, mean? but like, I'm not online. Exactly. No, but it's a valid question because we did the PC thing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Why not the online thing? Moving on. So, people that play one genre of game versus people that will play many or if not all genres of games. Or if you play a lot but don't specifically play one type. A middle-aged man just likes to play uh, golf or hockey, but he'll play for 10 hours a week. Is he a gamer? Or the 20 year old that only plays shooters all day long. I just play Call of Duty. That's the only yeah. game I play. When I say that, when I think of gamer, I think of the, I think of our buddy Phil that will log hundreds of hours into an RPG. Yeah. And then when I tell him, I like if I tell him, well, I, I like to play NHL or I, I'll go down and play a couple of games of NHL. You like, that's not even a game. Yeah. yeah. And, and I noticed when we first got on YouTube, like all the big channels rave about their RPGs. Yeah. And it made me feel like because I am not an RPG guy, and when I hear other people say that, because now we get that get to know gamer, and I've heard people say, I'm not really a big RPG guy, they almost say it with a little bit of shame. Or, yeah, you'll notice that I'm not a big RPG guy, and I'm like, me neither. But when we first got into yeah. YouTube, <laughs> It was. I expected it to was. Say me. Yeah, it, it was like. Well, I would like to get into it, and I've tried, but it's, it's really not my if genre. You don't like a turn-based RPG. You're never gonna like a turn-based RPG. And yeah. if you don't like a puzzle game, you're never you're gonna, not gonna like gonna a puzzle become game. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't think that. I would think some of those people that are really hardcore, because those, like I said, those are open-world or RPG games that you have to sink a lot of time into like skyrim you could play that for a thousand hours forever right yeah. yeah it would never end i i have to say that i am done with avengers yeah. because every day there's new missions new missions yeah. that, that they uh regenerate endlessly uh -huh. so i could literally keep playing that game forever and say well there's another mission so I have to say, okay, I'm done with it. I'm going to yeah, yeah. move on. I'm in it for the campaign. Almost 100% of the time, I want to experience the story. Yeah, same. That's yeah. what I'm in it for. Same. I, I agree. Know. I'm the exact same way. But I think there is that like upper echelon of the serious gamer that thinks if you're not playing this, yeah. you're I, not a I gamer. Think, and let me correct it's me if I'm bad, wrong. You know? I think that the, the hardcore RPG guys that will log hundreds of hours into games may look at a I consider myself to be a gamer but they may look at me as not quite you know, a gamer eh, whatever you, yeah you play games but you're really not a gamer there yeah what do maybe you like I you like RPGs you like your Final Fantasies I like my Final Fantasies and yeah. Dragon Warriors or but does that make me a gamer I don't consider myself as much a gamer as somebody who plays games you play yeah. games i know but that to me that's what i do i play games but am i a gamer do you think there has to be a competitive aspect to it in order to define a game i don't i, I think, don't know i think we keep coming back to this because amount of time you put in or if you game online we keep coming back to some sort of competitive aspect to a gamer 
Because like, yeah, I logged a thousand hours. How much do you put in? So yeah, far? but a I got lot. This I got I got eight hours in. <laughs> you know, or I got this. I <laughs> yeah, acquired that, this much stuff in the game. How yeah. much stuff do you have? And I so wouldn't even still... be interested in something like no. that like, myself. Like all like the mainstream games, they're designed for people like me. Mm -hmm. But when I think of gamers, and I and I think of, well, I always revert back to Phil because Phil. In my mind, yeah. is a gamer because he finds these He'll games like that are not mainstream, yeah. Yeah. that only the real gamers have played, and they'll talk to me about it, and I'm like, oh, I never even heard of that game. No, because it wasn't designed for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, but if you're not looking for it too. But I'm not looking not? for it because oh well, this top-notch game creator just released a brand new game and, oh well that i i, I want to play that because that looks fun but uh maybe a hardcore gamer is going to say oh I'll, I'll probably get to it eventually but there's this game that i heard about that i need to play yeah and i'd be like oh. what do you think the differences are between people that play retro games and people that play modern games is there is there are you a gamer if you only play retro depending on what you like you may look at other gamers as like second class gamers or anything, you know what i mean i look at like people that can can really uh, really good at retro games that because retro games are harder to me there's a difference of beating a game and finishing a game. Yeah. There is. Because today's with, like, day even and with age. modern games, or, because I think somebody else taught, touched on this where they're like, no, well, that's why it's scalable because you have easy, normal, hard, hard very hard. Very hard. And then you have the ability to get all the trophies. Is that the difference between beating a game, finishing a oh, game, and beating yeah. a game? I very rarely will play. Um, like a modern game on the highest difficulty level. I never will. So is that Unless there's no option to switch it backwards, you know what I mean? You yeah, want I want the experience of playing through the game and having a good time. And having a good time. But that being said, I mean, when we look at the retro games, they are hard there's as... Some, uh, it was, yeah. some of them are really easy also. But some of them are really easy, yeah. but for the most part, when you can say that I finished this game, that people are like, yeah. oh, wow, you like, that game. wow, you've so then you're got skills. That makes me question you saying you're not a gamer when you've put time and effort into some of these retro games to perfect them and you continue to play them so that you can continue to beat them and beat them and, down the line and, and yet down you the line. still don't consider yourself and then you a don't gamer. consider, well, you consider I, yourself somebody do you to see what i'm saying i know you i know. had to put a time yeah. in to beat tyson you had to put time in to beat the turtles because had you not you would never know there was no internet back there to tell you how to do it yeah you had to figure it out but you continue to play them so that you never forget yeah true. that's your your gamer yeah your gamer maybe you just you think there has to be a competitive aspect, but there is. Maybe. You, uh, you, I, I, you, I don't know. I guess it's a it's a great area of, of when are you a guy who plays games and when you are a gamer. Yeah. I think And I, is there even is there, a difference? I don't think there's a difference in my I, for myself, but I feel free for everybody in the comments to correct me. But I'm sure there are people out there that are hardcore and may look at, you know, the types of games I play or whatever and just like, eh, it's like yeah, you're not like a real serious gamer, you know. There yeah. are people that play games as a profession. Yes, yes. And yeah, there yeah. are people that, it's like the difference between professional hockey and peewee hockey, you know? Yes. It's still sports. There's different levels. Yeah. So there's different levels of gamer, everybody's gamer, you know. Well, I think anybody that plays games frequently is a gamer. If you play a game once, or you, once a year, you like to play games. I don't even think that person would consider themselves a gamer. No, no. But anybody that plays on a regular basis is a gamer. No matter if you're playing a console, a PC, online, offline, it doesn't matter. You're a gamer. Can we agree on that? Yeah, yeah. I, can. I that, think so. Have I converted you? Yeah. So you're a gamer? Yeah. You're a gamer? I, I, I'm, I guess I'm a gamer. Then. Okay. Let's cheers I'm to that. I'm a gamer who plays games. <laughs> Get your gamer badge. <laughs> I got my gamer. Uh, ah! <laughs> got his gamer badge. Yeah. There you go. All right, guys. All cheers right. to all being gamers. Cheers. Tell, having fun. Yeah, tell us if you're a gamer. Add to the conversation and feel free to make a video. If you want to yeah. discuss it more, maybe there's something we missed. So There probably is. Yeah. Until next time, game on.